It's really special for us at COFA whenever we see some of our graduates come back and get to hear their progress that they've made and the growth that they've had since they graduated. It was awesome. I, I've, I've seen the performance the last eight years since I've been here at COFA and um, I think last night was the best. Uh, they were sharper than ever, smoother than ever, louder than ever. It was, it was fantastic. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, I still remember when I was in my high school and then I was just standing there with my rifle and then we, we were about to march and I just looked around and to me that was extremely crazy because I, I never thought that I would be part of the Southern Drip Platoon, especially like going to my high school. It was really awesome, honestly. Um, I always knew that when he was in school that he had a special soul. He was very kind, uh, very giving. He was always very conscientious about um, his grades. It wasn't always easy for him. Um, he suffered and he, was, he went through some trials and tribulations, but he always worked really hard and he was always very fastidious. And He was sure that he wanted to go to college, but he knew he couldn't afford it and his family couldn't afford it. So the military was an option for him that he started to look into and research. And, I'll actually, I do remember when he decided to go, he came to my room, he was all excited, like he just had a breath of fresh air because he knew that where his future was going to take him, and he was excited. That's amazing. That, that is really cool to see um, a, a Kofa King, a Yuma kid, going and being involved in something at that magnitude. That's amazing.